takes on North Texas and they take a visit near here. Well, Samford just continues to find ways to win football games back at home this weekend for homecoming. The Bulldogs adding another win while helping their head coach make some history. Jake Stansel has more from Samford. Chris Hatcher knew this game against VMI was going to be a struggle just with his team coming off back to back road games. A slow start to this one, but the offense revved up late when it mattered most, and now they are off to their best start in league play in program history. Homecoming weekend for the FCS 10th ranked Sanford Bulldogs. A little rainy, but these dogs are on a roll looking to make it seven straight. Michael Hires drops one in the bucket here. 70 yard pass to Kendall Watson. That puts the dogs on top 20 to 15 through three quarters. VMI in a similar spot looks to go deep to the other side. Different result though, Hakeem Johnson picks it off. A little celebration, we're dancing. After just scoring seven points in the first half, Sanford puts up 27 in the second. A laser there from Hires to Chandler Smith for a little added effect. Look, it's been a historic season for Sanford football and the 34-15 win over VMI made it a little more special for Chris Hatcher. I've been very fortunate to have a lot of great coaches. I've been very fortunate to have a lot of great players on this current team and, and former teams, and those are the guys that have won those games. And um, I knew going into the year that um, we to, to, to beat the record, we would have to have a very special year, and thus far the guys have come through week in and week out. But Yeah, we, we all knew it, so we were definitely excited for him. And, uh, he, he's such an awesome coach and even better person, so we were, we were definitely excited that uh, he got that accomplishment. That's right, the winning continues for the Sanford Bulldogs, and Chris Hatcher becomes the winningest head coach in program history, passing Pat Sullivan with 48 wins, and the team says they're not done yet. Reporting at Seifert Stadium, Jake Stansel, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side. Ah!